Hi everybody, it's PJ from Wisconsin Air Gunners. Today I have the opportunity to look at the Air Venturi Avenger Bullpup. This is everything you liked about the Air Venturi standard rifle now in a bullpup format. So if you're a fan of the bullpup, um, this may be a great entry-level PCP air rifle for you. Many of you, maybe most of you, will already be familiar with the Air Venturi Avenger. The Avenger comes in 177, 22, or 25 caliber. It's a pre-charged pneumatic air gun, meaning it has high pressure air on board and it uses that air to propel the pellet down the barrel. The original Avenger came with a polymer stock and if there was a knock on that rifle, it was the plasticky feel and sound that it had when you, you, know, you kind of thumped it. Um, on the bullpup, they have changed the material that they're using to make the stock, and it, it feels more substantial. It's got a, a little bit better, um, well, sound to it, you know, when you hit it. Um, not that you're bashing it around or anything like that, but it definitely has uh, a little bit more of a refined, grown-up feel to the way the stock is constructed. It's got a nice, comfortable pistol grip. Um, it has a number of features that are really nice, and I just want to show you this. On the back side, you've got a butt pad that is adjustable. It's got a bunch of cutout notches, so you can use that in the shoulder to adjust up or down. It also has this movable and removable cheek piece that's really kind of a cool design. You've got a push button. <coughs> And once that's depressed, it allows you to move it forward and back. But if you move it back far enough, you can actually remove it entirely. Now, not that I think you're going to want to do that. But when you take it off, it's actually grooved. So you have three levels of height. So not only do you have four positions front to back, but three levels of height that you can put it at so that when you set up your scope, and in this case, I've got a hawk on here. When you set up your scope, you can adjust your cheek weld to line your eye up properly with the scope. Uh, as far as my use with it, um, I have found that I like the um, lowest setting and I like it in the third position forward and that just seems to work for me with this scope setup but of course if I change the rings uh, I'd be able to adjust that and I'd be able to adjust the butt pad it comes with a magazine as well as a single shot loader and in the cutout down here it actually has spaces for you to clip your spare magazine in which is a really nice touch I mean they got the space on the on the stock you may as well use it for something you have a spot to put a sl sling stud there and you have a corresponding one up front which is right by the molded Picatinny rails which you have on the bottom and uh, on each side which is pretty cool so you got a spot for your bipod and you also have a spot for a flashlight if you're doing a bit of uh, nighttime pest work or something along those lines the barrel design seems to be pretty much exactly the same as the original Avenger, which is a good thing. Um, for a budget PCP rifle um, at the $300 price point, the Avenger kind of took everybody by surprise in being a rifle that can really provide good long range, down range accuracy. Um, and I think everybody kind of looked at it and was like, how did they do that? Um, it's a great barrel, and my belief is that barrel came directly over for this rifle. Um, in the little bit of testing I've been able to do since I got it in, 
Uh, this is a great accurate rifle in 22 caliber, no problem making minute of squirrel shots out to um, 50 yards and I know it could go farther, I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. Uh, in a few minutes we've got, uh, I won't call it a blizzard because we're not getting that much snow, but we got pretty good wind and uh, some snow falling. I'm going to take a group of uh, 10 shots um, at 30 yards just to show you what that 30 yard accuracy is and I'm, I'm anticipating that being pretty good. So in terms of what I've done to it, I've got, like I said before, the Hawk scope. Um, I've thrown a bipod on there and then I've also equipped it with the Donny FL Sumo. Um, I like the Sumo on the Avenger rifles. I know some people have had really good success with the Tonto. Um, so either of those would be really good choices. If you use the Donny FL adapter, you get a couple of benefits. Um, one, because of the way the adapter is made, it actually has a barrel centering uh, jig or tool in it. Um, and that can help make sure that you're not getting any kind of pellet clipping. That is drilled out so that you get airflow out of that tube back into the main shroud. So it helps to do even more uh, sound suppression. Um, and then it moves the half UNF adapter forward so that when you go to fill the Avenger, you don't have to take off your moderator because the cap can screw off, screw on, and you can get your Foster uh, connector right in there without having to mess with the moderator, which admittedly is a convenience and maybe not a deal breaker, but uh, I, I think it's definitely worth it. So let's get over to the bench, take a couple of shots. Well, we're gonna do a 10 shot string. Um, I've already done some chronograph work, so let me put that up there now. Um, for an out-of-the-box gun, I am super impressed with where the velocity, extreme spread, and standard deviation uh, were on this shot string. Um, I don't see any reason to, to mess with this gun at all. It's shooting velocity, a velocity that works great for the pellet I'm shooting, and I have, uh, I have no problems at all saying this is a good gun to get your hands on. Um, I think if you like a bullpup, the way they've built the stock, uh, the material they've used is definitely an upgrade. Um, I would say one of the other knocks on the original Avenger was the material they used for the Picatinny Weaver rail up top. Um, this is an all metal rail and very much an upgrade from the original. Bolt action, I'd say, is about the same. Trigger's about the same. The safety, uh, functional, and, and pretty much location on the action is exactly the same. The parts that really matter with, you know, the shooting interface, the cheek weld, and where the shoulder fits in um, have decent adjustment, so that's a real plus. Um, I think this gun excels shooting offhand. Um, I've taken a couple of squirrels with it, and... Um, Maybe I'll throw in, uh, throw in some of that too. Okay. I have a squirrel at 25 yards. I'm gonna take the shot. Okay. And that's down. Oh, sorry about the fumble there. Air Venturi Avenger Bullpup with the Donny FL Sumo getting things done. So let's go to the bench. Well, like I just showed you, we have pretty good wind 
uh, going, but I'm going to take a 10 shot group and we'll see what this rifle can do. I have not done anything to adjust the trigger. Um, I would say it's a little on the long side as far as pull goes. You do have this rear side lever orientation. I'm kind of used to it being up front, so I know I'm I'm reaching to a different spot. I had seven turkeys out here just before I went to shoot this. And uh, if only air guns were legal for, for turkey hunting. I think that's five. By the way, if you've never seen the kind of mess turkeys can make of your yard, this is 10 minutes. They came through, decided they'd have a look for some bird seed on the ground, and pretty much tore everything up. Definitely gets along with the Hades pellets, which makes a big difference to me. And you guys will see in a minute, this is looking like a good group, which is about like an announcer saying he hasn't thrown an interception in 10 games, but... All right, let's get some boots on and go pick up that target. So the target's at 30 yards. And given the wind, I'd say that's a nice little group. I particularly am impressed by, you know, the left to right is wind, but if you look at how thin that group is top to bottom, uh, that's a tight group. And based on the chronograph numbers that I ran earlier, I'm not really very surprised by that. I mean, it's, it's great as far as uh, how it did on the chronograph and it's, uh, it's showing up at 30 yards. Watch says we've got 11 mile an hour wind. Um, I'd say that's all right for gusty 11 mile an hour wind. 
I was shooting the JSB Hades 22 cal, so it's a light pellet with a relatively low BC, which means the wind is just going to affect it a little bit more. Um, any one of those shots is a dead squirrel. Um, I mentioned earlier that, uh, that I've taken a couple. I think the, the count now is three with this rifle. Um, plenty accurate out to 50 yards for pest control. Um, I like the short length and how manageable it is. I like the adjustments that they give you so that you can set the gun up for you so that when you bring your face up to the gun, you're in the right position. So you're seeing down the scope. Um, you can get the eye relief dialed in. I mean, look at the size of that rail. Um, you can really move that that forward or back wherever you need it to be. It's, an, uh, it's a good ergonomic design. I like the way the hand grip is. You got a little stippling, pretty pretty mild up here, um, but it's it's there, comfortable spot, um, really easy to shoulder, and pretty easy to shoot accurately. If I was going to say, you know, what could be, what could be made better, it's probably in the trigger. Uh, the trigger, uh, the way mine's set up, is a little bit long, uh, along in the pole. I've got some arthritis, so that's you know. It's not heavy, um, but it is a long pull. Um, other than that, if you're looking for a budget bullpup, um, you could do a whole lot worse than the Avenger. Um, I would say in terms of accessories, uh, it deserves a quality scope. Like I said, this Hawk is, uh, has been a nice option for me. I've had this on a couple of guns, um, and I think it's finally found a home on this one. Um, and I really think you're going to want to moderate it. It's not a super loud gun, but it's also not a super quiet gun. Um, and I would look to either the Sumo or the Tonto. Um, and that Donny FL adapter are great pairings for this rifle. Alright, you got a tool that can handle the pest control duties. Um, it's rough and tumble. It's accurate. Um, it's decent to, to shoulder. I don't know what else you want to know, but if there is something, uh, if you would do me a favor and throw that question down in the comments, I will see what I can do to get you an answer. And until the next video, folks, shoot safe, shoot straight, and I'll see you around.